Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another What I Eat Wednesday. In today's video, we are just going to be doing the regular. You know how I do every Wednesday. I'm gonna take you guys through what I'm eating today. And to be completely honest with you guys, after my last ketosis video on how to get into ketosis really fast, if you haven't watched that video, make sure you check it out. But after that, after I got fully into ketosis and I knew that I could get into it really fast, the holidays hit and they hit with a bang. So I have not been eating super clean. I have not been in ketosis at all. So this week is my first week back at work and I am doing a slow integration back into low carb life because let's face it, the holidays hit me really hard and the first of the year was during the middle of a week. So I was like not motivated to change my eating habits last Wednesday when it was the first. So this week I am slowly incorporating more healthy foods back into my diet. So I'm going to follow a lower carb. I'm going to kind of stick to a keto kind of diet, but I'm not in ketosis right now. So I did just want to let you guys know that, but I'm still coming at you guys with some great low carb recipes and snack items and coffee and things like that. So I've already started my day with my pre-workout and I am just sipping on my water right now. Let me get that. And another thing I'm going to be trying to drink a ton of water today. So yes, Let's go ahead and get on into this video. I'm not gonna be eating breakfast for a little while, uh, but I did just wanna record an intro, so I will catch you guys at breakfast. All right guys, so it's like nine o'clock and I'm getting kind of hungry, so I'm going to make myself a breakfast burrito type thing here. And these are the Mission Carb Balance Tortillas. And there is 19 grams of carbs in there, but there's 15 grams of fiber, so that means that there is four net carbs in here. If I were in straight up ketosis, I probably wouldn't eat these, but I am, like I said, I'm easing myself in, so I'm definitely in the mood for like some kind of carbs, so the, I'm glad that these exist for that. And then I'm going to be cutting up some of this Johnsonville Better With Cheddar Smoked Sausage. My husband actually brought these home and they're bomb, like, and the stats are not too horrible on them either. Let's see if I can get this to focus. So for one link, you get 200 calories. There's 17 grams of fat, so that's pretty good. Two grams of carbs and eight grams of protein. So that's not bad at all. And then I'm gonna scramble an egg and put in a little bit of baby spinach. And then I'm also gonna top it with a little bit of cheese. Roll it all up and that's gonna be my uh, breakfast burrito. So I'll show you guys that when I'm done with it. Okay, so I don't know if I've ever told you guys this before, but I hate when avocados go bad. So my cousin actually told me this trick. If you put your avocado in a glass mason jar, literally this will prevent it from going brown for like over a week, you guys. If you have never experienced putting your avocados in a mason jar, I'm telling you right now, it'll save your life. Save avocados, put them in mason jars, you guys. But here is my lovely breakfast. Hey guys, so I wanted to talk to you really quick about this Starbucks that I picked up. I had recorded a clip of me ordering the drink when I was there at Starbucks, but it was a hot mess, so I'm probably gonna scrap it. My kids were like crying and yeah, it was a hot mess. But anyways, I got this from one of my friends on Instagram actually posted this and they got the recipe from the Macro Barista, which by the way, if you're not following them, go follow their account, they're awesome, the um, Macro Barista. And it's a grande cold brew with sugar-free vanilla and one pump of toasted white chocolate, what? One pump of toasted white mocha sauce and then I added some heavy cream. It is so good, you guys, so bomb. But I did look up um, the calories in the white mocha sauce because obviously this drink is not like keto friendly. There's 11 grams of net carbs in the white mocha in one pump of it alone. So it's definitely not, it's not good for you as far as like keto goes, but it is 
a better, a healthier choice in drink. So yeah, definitely want to keep that in mind when you're looking for like a lower calorie or like a keto style drink. Like this probably isn't it with the white mocha. You could probably just go with the sugar-free vanilla and like sugar-free cinnamon dolce. I know that I've done like keto Starbucks drinks on my channel here before and other what I eat videos. This ain't it girl, but like I said, we're kind of easing ourselves back into low carb right now. So that is what I got from Starbucks and I'm going to have lunch right now. So I want to talk a little bit about what I'm having for lunch. I am going to portion out myself some leftovers. Actually, we had a Mexican casserole last night and it is basically ground beef done the mexican style way you know with the cumin and like taco seasoning and stuff like that with onion and then i had a head of cabbage that i sauteed up with some tomatoes and then i added the ground beef back in and i mixed it all together with some corn which also isn't keto friendly actually but i just used a little bit of corn because i love corn and I used the low carb tortillas again and I laid down a tortilla, some meat, uh, some of the meat mixture, another tortilla, more meat mixture and like topped it all with some cheese and baked it. Y'all, this is so bomb, bomb. I'll have the recipe linked down below for you guys so that y'all can check it out because it was amazing. And there. She is so yummy, you guys, not even kidding. Let me turn you around because I want to talk to you for a little bit. So I recently started like working out again. Let me straighten this because this looks bad. Hi. Okay, so I recently started like working out again. Like I, when I did my get into ketosis in three days video, I was not working out at all. Um, I had not gotten back in my fitness regime. So like, I think I was staying around like 30 to 40 grams of carbs a day. And that's just not sustainable because I'm still pumping and I'm working out. So I'm going to be increasing my carb intake a little bit and I'm hoping that I can still be in ketosis. So I'm kind of doing like a whole other test now. It's just so good. You guys have to try this. Um, But... That's a good thing that I love about this lifestyle is that I can kind of like play around with it and see what works for me depending on what's going on in my life at the time. Obviously when you're more physically fit or when you're more into your physical activity, you need to increase like your calorie intake and your carb intake and things like that. Like you can't be as strict. Whereas when you're being like living a more sedentary lifestyle, you don't have to eat as much because you're not fueling anything and you're not destroying the muscle and needing to like repair those cells at a faster rate if that makes sense and i'm not a nutritionist so don't take this for word for word it's just you know i've done a little bit of research on it and i've done i've been on a weight loss journey for years and years and years so it's just what i've kind of picked up over time but yes so i am in the middle of kind of going through what's going to work for me because i am working physical fitness back in my lifestyle again I had took some time off just for the holidays and just a little bit of baby blues from having to go back to work. Like it's crazy because I didn't have any depression after I had the baby and like for the whole time I was at home, but just the idea of going back to work. And honestly, now that I'm in my first week back, I'm still like a little down about the whole thing. And what do I do when I'm feeling down and out? Like I run back to old bad coping mechanisms, which include like eating bad foods and not working out. Uh, so I'm really working on myself, like my mental self, my spiritual self, and just trying to like get back into the swing of things when I'm working at my optimal self, which includes, you know, taking time for myself in the morning, reading my Bible, like journaling, doing whatever I need to do for me before I start the day, because that really puts me in the best mindset and it kind of gives me a spiritual boost and then also working out like getting those endorphins pumping in the morning like that really sets me up for a good day so i think that is where i'm working to get back to especially while i'm in the middle of this transition because the last thing i need to throw me off the bandwagon for 2020 before we even get in is a negative mindset and no physical fitness to kind of help me on my way so i just wanted to share that little spiel with you guys and i'm gonna finish eating the rest of my lunch and i'll catch you guys Probably at snack time because your girl always has to have a snack before dinner. 
All right, so for snack today, I'm just gonna have one of these P3 portable protein snacks, you know, the ones that you get from the grocery store, and this one is the ham, almonds, and cheddar. You could totally make this at home yourself and like save yourself some coin, because these are not cheap. And I'm gonna have a hard boiled egg on the side, and that's my snack. Okay, so we are going to be making keto fried chicken with pork rinds. This is the brand of pork rinds that I got, and I just ordered these on Amazon, but you could probably get those $2 pack of pork rinds from like your Walmart or something. I just don't live close to a store, so it was easier for me to get them online. Um, and I just mixed the pork rinds. I did this entire bag. I don't know if this is gonna be enough or not, but I have another bag. Um, I mixed this in here with some Parmesan cheese, some garlic powder, some salt, and some paprika. These are the salt and pepper flavors, so they have a lot of flavor in them already, so I didn't use too much salt or pepper. And then I've got three eggs here and some heavy whipping cream that I'm gonna mix together, and I am going to, I'm defrosting my chicken right now, so I'm going to do uh, the chicken in the egg mixture and then into this, and then I'm going to put it over here. I've got my oven preheating to 400 degrees, and I've got a pan with tin foil and some parchment paper laid down so the chicken doesn't stick to it, and I'm going to bake it in the oven for about 45 minutes, so I'll check you guys back. Okay, so here's the final product, and my baby just woke up from a nap, so I'm gonna put this in the oven for about 30 minutes, and I'll check in with you guys when it's all done cooking. And there we have it, you guys. It is so good. I've already taste tested a little bit of that piece, and it's really yummy. So I'm just going to make some broccoli, and that is going to be my meal tonight. And my husband's going to have rice, so I'll show you it all plated up. All right, so here we have it, and I made a little bit of like dipping sauce. It's just some mayonnaise and some buffalo, like some Frank's buffalo sauce bomb make sure you do that and then this is nova's plate because lord knows half of it's going to end up on the floor and then my husband's plate has rice and more chicken so that is it and all i did was roast the broccoli in olive oil salt pepper garlic powder i do the same thing with my broccoli every time i make it and this is dinner you guys oh yes and one last thing this is the Mom Life sweatshirt, and I picked this up from Shop Simply Michelle Boutique, and I will have the Instagram account linked here, as well as the link down in my description box for you guys. If you're interested in this, you can go ahead and use the code BRITTANY20 to get 20% off. I just love Michelle Meeker. She is just like the cutest thing. Her and her family are so sweet, and I love supporting small shop owners. So yeah, make sure that you guys check that out. That is going to be everything that I'm eating tonight. I was actually just editing this video and realized that I didn't record an outro for you guys, but I'm not gonna eat anything else for the rest of the night. I am just sipping on my water right now and that's gonna take me through the end of the evening. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I hope that you would consider hitting that little subscribe button. It really helps out my channel and make sure that you're hitting the little bell next to the subscribe button so you don't miss any upcoming videos from me. I do these What I Eat Wednesday videos every Wednesday on my channel or some sort of fitness related video on Wednesdays so you don't want to miss any more upcoming videos from me and I'll check you guys in the next one. Bye!